Well, hello and welcome to Jonathan from the Heart. I'm Jonathan Asley from jonathanasley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. It's my first video for 2021, and I'm really excited to be sharing this with you, so I want to celebrate the new year and also say let's hope now that we put 2020 behind us, let's hope 2021 is our time to meet the love of our life. And that's our topic today. Four days to meet the love of your life. Or is it going to be like this? Four days to meet the love of your life. Uh, and this really works, okay? So um, really quickly, if you're new to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for new content. Also, if you like this video, these are exactly the video, this is almost exactly like the videos I shoot in my private group called Midlife Love Mastery. Check out the link below um, where I answer the questions you ask by shooting videos three days a week uh, in our private group, Midlife Love Mastery. All right, happy new year. Let's get started. Four days to meet the love of your life. All right, I'm going to take this off now. Um, so I want to share with you personally, I am a recovering codependent. And I would say on the scale of love attachment style, I'm an anxious attacher. In other words, I become very needy. I, I have this, this subconscious belief that I need someone else to love me to feel good about myself. I've, I've operated from that perspective for a significant part of my life. And I said recovering codependent because I've been working deeply on shifting that. I've been working deeply on shifting out of that, um, that narrative for myself. And this plays such an important role when it comes to meeting the love of your life. So let's talk about what the love of your life is right now because I'm going to teach you how to meet that person in four days, okay? So the love of your life I'm going to pull up my phone for a second. The love of your life, bear with me one second, and I hope this works. If you look in the camera, okay, I, that's a mirror, okay, this is a mirror, this is a mirror, okay. I want you to look in a mirror to meet the love of your life. I want you to find right now, or at the end of this video, I want you to go to a mirror. I want you to go to a mirror and look inside that mirror because you are the love of your life. You are the love of your life. And because that's what it took for me to get into this place. Now, many of you might already feel this way, which is great. Many of you don't feel this way. Some of you might feel this way from an entitled place. Um, and really that's just our ego trying to rationalize things. But if you're seeking genuine, true companionship, connection, and intimacy with another human being, then I encourage you to find it within yourself first. And I'm gonna teach you how to have, make that happen in four days, okay? In four days, it, all right? Um, and this piggybacks from some of my other videos I shot. Uh, so get excited about the next video that's coming because it's gonna help you manifest that great person in your life. Okay, four days. First off, let's establish that a day is 24 hours. So one day is 24 hours, okay? So four days is 96 hours. So I'm gonna ask you to invest the next 96 hours of your life, but I'm gonna make it simple you only have to do one hour at a time, okay? One hour at a time. So really it's 96 days, but 96 hours is four days, okay? And you can do that. People say they spend something like 1,000 hours in traffic each year and 500 hours standing in line each year, although with the pandemic, none of that was happening, but we spend so much time wasted. How about you invest one hour for yourself a day. I like the way Tony Robbins calls it the hour of power. He's all about power, the hour of power. So what are you gonna wanna do with this hour? Well, I wanna share with you my what got me to the place of where I'm at today. And ladies, I can tell you, I'm no longer dependent on someone else for my happiness. Gosh, that feels so good not to feel dependent on someone else for my happiness. And yet I do want a partner in my life. And I know you want a partner in your life. Am I right? If I am, please post a comment below. 
So what we're really gonna be talking about is how to join the self-love club, the self-love club. I've got my mug today that says, love yourself. Mm. Um, by the way, if you hear crab, crows barking, it's because I shoot these videos out in my patio and I live right off the marina. Anyways, okay, how to join the self-love club. Number one, I want you to buy, well, first off, buy my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? What the Heck is Self-Love Any? This book was birthed after the loss of my 19-year-old son, Connor, in 2018. I'm coming up on three years, and that's going to be tough. It is just getting tougher each day to navigate life without him. And yet, I'm also finding that depth inside of me to be able to lean into, lean into love, lean into self-love. Now, what, why I want you to get my book is it takes you on the journey of how I got to where I'm at today. It's self-love is a vaccination to emotional chaos. So check out the link below to self-love the book to get my book, okay? Now, this next book you have to purchase. I, I'm, this is like my, I don't like the terminology, but this is my Bible. It's called The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. The Untethered Soul by Michael, Michael Singer. There are 19 chapters in this book. So part of your instruction every day is to read only one chapter a day. One chapter, that's it. Take you 15 minutes. Then I want you to invest about another five minutes right afterwards and just meditate on what you read. Or Okay, meditate on that. Now this is gonna feel like spaghetti. For the first four or five chapters, it's gonna be hard. You may have to reread a chapter over and over. You might read a page and reread it. That's okay, that's really okay. I promise you, get through this book. In fact, read it twice, read it often, put it on your coffee table. I gave this to a dear friend of mine who is a skeptic on the whole spirituality, personal development, self-help. After reading this book, he bought five copies to give to his children, to his friends. This made a difference in another person's life and my hope is it makes a difference in your life. So again, one chapter a day, okay? One chapter a day and a few minutes of meditating. That's only 15, 20 minutes. All right, so you got another 40 minutes. I want you, you don't have to do this all at the same time, but I, I, and by the way, you should be reading my book along the way. I definitely want you to get the Hoffman Process, the Hoffman Process book. This is similar to the experience I went to the actual retreat, but this is just right off the bat. You're gonna be reading this and going, oh my God, I got so much stuff that needs healing. I've got so many childhood wounds and traumas that need healing. And when we heal, we begin to love ourselves. That's what this is all about. And it doesn't mean you're fully healed, okay? It's not like you're fully, oh, I love myself 100%. Just begin a practice of loving on yourself. And so invest another 15 or 20 minutes in this book. I highly recommend it. Okay, now there's another book. As you're doing all this work, you're investing an hour a day. I want you to then get this book. I never talked about this before. Creative Vis Visualization Workbook by Shakti Gwani. And I'm butchering the name, so please forgive me. This is a workbook. Okay, this is a workbook. This is, the, look it, you can spend thousands and thousands of dollars with coaches and you could do a lot of this work for 15 bucks by buying a couple of these books or 50 bucks for buying these books now if you need help on how to vet men that's my area of expertise you will have to hire me check out a link to a free discovery call because that's my area of expertise is helping you figure out men but i want you to figure out yourself first because then your intuition will be highly tuned after these 96 hours, your intuition is going to start working at a whole nother level. You're just going to be increased another level because you're operating from a place of self-love. You're operating from a place of self-love. And let me tell you, whether you find a, a romantic partner in your life or not, whether you find it or not, when you find yourself and when you're loving on yourself, it's not a desperate need. And the reality is, and I'm gonna give you some real reality because I know a lot of coaches will sell you on the idea. Hey, as we get older, this isn't easy. This isn't easy to find a life partner. I don't like the word easy, but statistically, you might, it might not happen. This is why the best relationship you can have is with yourself because the reality is, is the relationships we have in our lives determine the quality of our lives. That's what uh, Esther Perel says, and I love that. So when we start with the relationship with ourselves, we're already setting ourselves up 
for a great quality of life. And just remember, self-love is the antidote to inner suffering. Self-love is the vehicle to navigate life through inner peace. And ultimately, that's what matters most. It doesn't matter. You're going to come back in the earth. Um, you get to do this over and over and over again from a spiritual perspective. You get to practice this. So I'm suggesting do this practice for the next 96 hours. Let me know if, hey, if you're willing to do this, please post a comment below. I want you to track it for me. I want you to come back. 100 days later and let me know how you're doing, 96 days later and let me know how you're doing. Are you willing to do this? I hope you are. I want you to, because here's the thing, I can give you a lot of advice about men and why they pull away, and you can listen to the whole feminine energy crap, which is really just trying to turn you into a Southern belle, you know? But hey, listen, if you don't heal your stuff, you're just gonna be just as crappy a partner and so you've attracted a guy in, but those only, those only last a few months. When you do this, your relationships last a lifetime because the relationship with yourself is gonna be the most juicy, delicious relationship you have. And then you become a magnetic attractor for what you want. That's the best part. Is this sinking in? Please let me know, post a comment below. I wanna hear your thoughts on this. Are you willing to join the self-love club? By the way, if you want to get this t-shirt, go to amazon.com. Uh, there's a link below to my uh, books and you can, it'll click you, take you to Amazon. But there's a, just type in self-love club t-shirt and you can get this as well. All right, I hope you found value in this video. video. I hope, I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. Please post a comment below. As always, I'm gonna wrap up my videos as I, or wrap up this video as I always do. First off, I'm gonna give myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug, self-love. I'm gonna reach into the camera and give you a hug of love. Oh, listen, I wanna go do something really quick. Hang tight. Also, <laughs> to celebrate the new year one more time, I want you to do me a favor, reach out to a friend, reach out, re give a pet, reach out to a pet, a pillow, or a teddy bear, and give it a big gigantic hug for 2021. Because let's face it, hugs are a great source of love, and we can all use more love in our lives. I want to thank you so much, and wishing you a super duper wonderful day. Bye-bye now.